Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So I'm going to build this. Uh, this is the FX176 scale white half track M3A1 and trailer. Um, this is an old kit. Um, I don't quite know when it was first um, moulded, but uh, I shall look on the scale mate and uh, let you know. Um, this will be one of my entries into the um, uh, D-Day group build because obviously uh, this type of hard track was used during that so why not? Um, the D-Day group build is a great excuse for me to be getting some of these um, these kits built uh, that uh, are in my stash. Um, a lot of nostalgia with this one, I have built many of these uh, even as a kid, I think I've built at least three um, to go with my soldiers. Um, it was just really cool having the trailer uh, with it as well. Um, and of course it's the same scale as the Matchbox M16, the half track with the quadruple anti-aircraft gun. So that works really well. Um, I'll just show you the box contents so you can see that I haven't started it. There you go, everything's still in the poly bag, um, ready to have some glue added to it. Um, I'm going to keep this as one video, I think. Uh, so the next time you see this, it will be constructed. So I'll catch you in a bit. Okay guys, so the build is finished. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do a video showing the kit made up before I uh, did any painting on it. I thought I had, but I possibly didn't uh, hit the record button. Um, I have got some stills showing um, various parts of the construction. Uh, so I'll just quickly show you those and then we'll um, have a look at the finished build. So here it is guys, um, I had a lot of fun building this. Uh, there was quite a few parts where I had to clean um, plastic from various bits where it had seeped into points where it was going to join to another part. Um, but it, it, it was just great, it, I, was, I was so in the zone with this, really enjoyed it. Um, that front decal that you can see on the hood um, wouldn't conform to the detail on there uh, at uh, a couple of points it split uh, so I had to use some white paint to um, to rectify that um, it hasn't been weathered at all really I did some highlighting on some of the sharp edges um, just to get a bit of, bit of def definition but not much at all I could have done a sludge wash as you know um, but I was just happy to bring it into this point so so yeah so that's another build done for the d-day build um thanks again to charlie for hosting this um i'm hoping to get the 25 pounder done soon what's happened is the paint that i was using um i think it's uh, gone off or whatever There's, it's just not mixing right um i haven't got the thinners for the migamo paint so i can't thin it that way so what I'll have to do is either get some of the thinners or um, get another bottle of the um, British Holly Drive 4445, which I'll probably do that instead so I can crack on with that build. Anyway, it's uh, Monday night. I hope your week is going well. Um, look after yourselves, guys, and I'll catch up with you soon.